on the time of use plan, as we said, there's an on-peak period from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. So your whole point in life at that point is to avoid that time period. That is your goal in life. Right. Enter the batteries. The batteries for the solar, that goes with the solar panels. You don't have to have solar panels to do the batteries. It's just usually recommended to do both at the same time. But you don't have to have it because you can do this with just the batteries. Keep that in mind. If you were to buy just the batteries, you can have the batteries charge from the grid. Overnight. So now, when the rates were at nine cents per kilowatt hour, you charge up your batteries. Then as the day goes on and you're entering that 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. on peak period, you let the batteries power the house. And if your batteries are big enough, you have enough batteries, it'll carry you all the way through that time period. So in other words, you never have to use power company uh, for the most part because you'll only be using them from, like you said, the super off peak overnight. And then during the day, instead of using your power company's expensive rate, you're using the power from your batteries that you accumulated uh, overnight during 2 p.m. Uh, from the super peak, 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. So now you're not getting hit with those big old bills. It seems like a, a cheat code for the system. It is. it is. It's legal. It works. And the power company actually, believe it or not, they, uh, they encourage this, believe it or not. And the reason why they encourage this is because if you're going off your battery power, you're not utilizing grid power and they can use that grid power for somebody else. So this, this routine is actually encouraged, provided you put out the money for the battery. So the idea is that you really want to be able to use those batteries to arbitrage your power, to gain power during the off, super off peak period. So combine the batteries with the solar panels and here's what you get. 